Talking about practical stuff, because Tom was talking about working, um, we can actually use a little bit more complex trigonometry using a function on your calculator to find the height of a structure or an object using a speed square. So uh, I'm going to run through the steps real quick, just kind of verbally talk you through them. And then I, I got a, a picture with some highlighting on it and a graphic, and you'll see how this goes. And at that point in time, you know everything you need to know about trigonometry, at least for the context of what we're doing here. So we're going to start out using the following steps. So we're going to find a light pole. We're going to walk away until we can see the top of it without tilting your head up. Then we're going to take a speed square. We're going to hold it up at our eye level and line of sight with the bottom of the pole and point it towards whatever you're trying to measure. And just kind of looking across it, you're going to line it up with your eyes up with the top of the structure and see what the angle is and write that down. You're going to measure the distance in feet to the object that you just kind of sighted up on your speed square and then you're going to do a quick little bit of math to find the height of whatever it was you were measuring. So there you go. I'm actually out in the front of our building here. I got a light pole on the other side of the parking lot and I was like man I wonder how tall this light pole is and this would be useful if I wanted to know hey how big of a boom lift do I need? So I whipped out my speed square, kind of sighted down the speed square, and I discovered that with the speed square level, looking at the bottom of the pole, if I just kind of looked at the top of the pole, it was a 30 degree angle that I was looking at there. So let's go ahead and do the math. So what's the height of a structure if you're standing 52 feet away from it? The angle of the speed square is 30 degrees and your eyes are five feet above the ground. So that's literally the picture you just saw. And so here's a diagram kind of shows you the same thing. Well, so here we are. I measured that I was 52 feet away and my eye height was five feet. And on a calculator, there's a button and uh, Mario, yeah. you got your calculator there? Yes, I'm ready for you. All right. Well, on a calculator, if I can get her, there you go. Tangent function. There's actually a tangent function. So in this case, I know it's a 30 degree angle and if I put uh, 30 in there, and I don't know if you could see Mario do that and hit the tangent button, sure. it's going to give me 0.58. 0.58. Right. So let's go ahead and just do the calculation. So the height of the structure is 52 feet times a tangent of 30, which we just said was 0.58. And then my eyes are five feet off the ground, so I have to add that extra five feet and you can just kind of see right here where I was measuring. And so the height of the structure, 30 feet plus five feet. And so the height of the structure is 35 feet. Pretty simple, believe it or not, all that, that is trigonometry. So let's go ahead and- I have a question. Do, oh, okay, Tom okay, has a question. I gotta, I, I mean, okay. Did you go out there with a ruler and verify? I did. Excellent. I, I, I couldn't actually get it all the way to the top because the tape measure kept bending yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got it close. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I got it close. I love it.